All right, so new freeze plug is in place. Looks nice and shiny. Filled it up with water and it holds quite nicely. So that's cool. So now that we replace that stupid little thing, we get to put it all back together again. Yeah. Yeah. Flex plate. Thing that goes on flex plate. Flex plate bolts. And three quarter inch. Match it. Size socket thing. Yeah, so we're just gonna put that back on there. And um I'm gonna look at the line right here and line it up with that boy. So I'm gonna put the line somewhere near uh, ish. Okay, gonna do that now. Alright. Flywheels back in place along with the bracket and everything. I start to 40 foot pounds, maybe a little more. I don't really care. But it's on there. Whoa. Alright. Whew. This thing is um interesting to move around. But um I've been slowly jacking it up and changing the angle that it sits at and checking for the alignment in the front. It's going on with a toe strap. And um Finally got the uh, the battle to engage. Boy, we got a pain in the ass. Ooh. Okay. Uh. So now I just got to do the rear bolts. However the hell I'm going to get to them. That's going to be fun. Hmm. All right. Um. I don't remember when I last left off. Probably a while ago, and you guys missed some important things. Um, let's see. A night or two ago, I put the new transmission mount on there, so it looks nice and neat. Um, when you're replacing it, the uh, it looks kind of like that. The hole goes closer to the driver's side. That was pretty simple. Take the bolts off, put the new mount in, the end. Uh, everything's hooked up from what I know, except for like a breather line or two. I mean, they're, they're connected at the transportation transfer end. I don't know if they mount somewhere. Uh, I just put the exhaust in. I put it in very loosely so that I can pivot it. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that um, when I when I took it out for a, a little test spin, the uh, probably ridiculously loud the uh the, the exhaust was hitting the drive shaft and i think that's because when i put it back on i put the new manifold on i didn't pivot it correctly because you can pivot this back and forth so i'm going to try and install it and pivot it all the way away from it and see if that helps but anyway on to our cur current topic transmission cooler line quick disconnects It looks kind of like this. That's the whole kit. And I got two of them. Um, you have to take the old stuff out. Because I tried putting it in and I'm like, huh, it's not clicking. I wonder why. And, um... The old stuff is still in there. So this is how you get it out. There's, there's two O-rings and there's a spacer. I already took the first O-ring out. That's the spacer, and here's the other O-ring. Try to be kind of gentle, you don't want to score anything. Alright, so now that the old kit is out, we can put the new one in. So I got a little WD on there to help lube it up. And for the most part, I'm pretty sure it just presses into place. <clears throat> Like so, and then you pull the plunger out. Mm, not quite like that. I guess it didn't click all the way. Ugh. There. 
new kit installed. And then you'll just take your line and hook it up until it snaps. And you'll know when it's in there because you'll pull on it and it won't budge at all. So let me put the other end first. Look at that. Cross member. Nice and pretty. Let the paint dry for a couple days because I was working on shit. But um, I think it looks pretty nice for the most part. Alright, from what I've heard online, this thing only goes in one direction. Because it looks like it'll fit one like both ways, but it doesn't. It's not perfectly symmetrical on both sides. You can tell particularly in there. But um, if you look, there will be, at least on mine, there's a dent. So if you go from this way, that's what this looks like, and then there's this dent right here. From what I remember, this dent was in the back. So, it should be this way going f to the front, and sticking up this way as well. So we'll see if I was right about that. We'll put it in. Alright, look at that. Crush member installed. I don't know if I showed you guys the transmission mount. Probably not. But uh, there's new transmission mount in there. Looks nice and pretty. Well, the bolts snapped off when I was tightening them down. I guess they didn't like 40 foot pounds. That one's good. That one. Oh, oh god, water in my face. That one's good and that one's broken off completely entirely. Oh well. Put the transmission mounts in. Now I can fucking finally drop this transmission jack. Hooray. Transmission successfully mounted. So, tighten up the exhaust, drive shafts, linkages, and this shit should be ready to go. And don't forget fluid. Alright, shifters are back up. So uh, here's the transmission shifter, which pops into place. And uh, the transfer case shifter, which connects to the cab, and then goes to this pivoting system here, which is held on with a bracket. And it also sits on the other side of this bracket, and that'll pivot to change that right there. And this has got an adjuster right there, so if things don't line up, you adjust this. So, shifters are complete. Exhaust has been tightened up. So those bolts are tight, and I tried to adjust it as far away from the axle as I could without having it touch the oil pan. That's kind of just the way that it decided to tighten, really. But, um, hopefully the, uh, the drive shaft doesn't knock against this too much. More of a nuisance. Okay, so the last thing is, of course, the axles. So, front axle, rear axle. And, um, then we can put some new fluid on this thing. Although the fluid already looks pretty new, it is empty. So, drive shaft time. Alright. Look at them. They look brand new and shiny and stuff. Yeah! Okay. So, front drive shaft is complete. And both lines are lined up. Next part, rear drive shaft. Yeah. Okay, um, there is a keyway on the back of this, so there's only one way to put it in. If you look at these splines, you'll notice that this one right here is the size of two teeth instead of one. So that two sized hole needs to match up with the two sized hole over here. And that would be um somewhere. I'd have to look closer. But uh it's gonna be one of these guys. So um, yeah, so that line's in there and the same process for the back. Alright, there we are. Rear drive shaft has been installed. Um, even though that bigger tooth was there, the uh, the splines all look the same size. So I kind of just put it in. Alright, 
So, uh, starter motor, cover, and um, fluids. So I guess I'm gonna go put this fucking starter motor in. Okay, starter motor, it's back in place. Both wires connected. The shield is connected, all four bolts are tightened and all that good stuff. So, um, it's basically everything. The only thing that's left is the tranny dipstick. So those two pieces get put together and then, uh, I should be able to put fluid in this thing. But, um, besides fluid, this thing should be ready to, uh, move again. Cool.